Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with another video, and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new weapon which has just been released here in Season 22. Now if you guys were a fan of the Immortal in the last few seasons, as it hasn't been dominating the Crucible for quite a while, there actually is a new weapon which competes very very well with that gun, and you don't have to run trials in order to get it, in fact you don't really have to do much of anything in order to unlock it. You can actually go and unlock it right now in just a few minutes. So in this video we're going to talk about this brand new SMG, the Unending Temptus. You may have already seen it in the Crucible, a lot of people or a few people do already have it and have been running it quite a bit. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can get as many rolls as you want so you can actually farm this thing, get the best roll for your setup and go ahead and start using this thing in the Crucible. So what you want to do is come over to Shacks, go into the Focus Decoding and you'll actually notice there's a brand new SMG here on the very very far right. It is called the Unending Temptus. Now when we take a closer look at this SMG, you'll notice that it is actually a stasis, which is insane. And if you read the description of it, it says now it's worse and it's here to stay. So I don't know if they're hinting at something like the Immortal with that, but either way, guys, this is how you're going to be able to claim this. So as you can see, just getting something as basic as a Crucible Engram, some shards and glimmer, you can actually farm this thing as many as times as you want. So you can get Crucible Engrams by simply just running Crucible matches. Remember to also pick up those bounties, put on the Ghost Boost and XP Boost and stuff like that. And if you run comp, you're going to get a bunch of score. I do think you actually get bonus score for running Crucible Labs as well. So if you really want to pick up a lot of these engrams while playing casually, I do think that would probably be your best bet. Now, once you do get your hands on enough of these Crucible engrams to start getting them to drop as much as you want, there's a few different things you may want to look out for on the rolls. Now, this gun will also drop randomly at the end of Crucible matches, so keep that in mind. You can actually get it as a drop from that as well. But either way, guys, as you can see, there is a lot of different perks you can get on this weapon. Now, a few things you need to keep in mind if you're trying to compare it to the Immortal is the fact that this gun is actually a stasis weapon. And on top of that, we have a 600 RPM instead of the Immortals, like I think 700 or 750. But the thing about this gun is that you can get way more range on it and some other insane perks. You can also get target lock, range finder, and things like that. Now, I actually got a bunch of these things, and I tried out three or four different rolls in the Crucible, and I'm going to show you guys my two favorite ones here in just a minute once we get into the gameplay of this weapon. Now, the Immortal is going to have much more handling than this weapon will, but because of this weapon's fire rate and its increased stability and range in comparison to the Immortal, I actually like this a little bit more than the Immortal just due to the fact that it is a bit more accurate. Because it doesn't shoot as fast, I do seem to be able to land more of my shots. And you can be a little bit further than the Immortal and still get kills very, very quickly. So I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of it here and show you guys the two different weapons that I ended up liking the most. So the first one I ended up going with is this one here with Shot Swap and Frenzy. It also has one quiet moment. I put the counterbalance stock on it and put some mods on as well just so you guys know what I'm running. So I did put one stasis targeting and one stasis on flinching. So the reason I went with this SMG first and over some of the others is due to the fact that it actually has 83 range on it. So I want to see just how insane and effective that can be. Now, after using it for a bit of time, I realized that range isn't as important as I was, I was thinking it was going to be. And some things that I found to be just a little bit more important was the stability and a little bit of the handling. So it's not to say that it's bad. The 83 range definitely does help and it gives you an extra foot or two of range where you actually can get kills. Now, one thing that I did like about this gun over the Immortal, like I was saying earlier, is that it is a lot more accurate. Now, you'll notice that I get a ton of headshots with this weapon, but when I go for the longer range kills like right here, you don't really have enough range to get the kill or even really compete, even with the 84 range. So it doesn't have a lot of impact, so snipers and stuff like that can definitely still hit you, and fusion rifle is pretty much the same. Now, that's the only real downside to this thing, though, and especially if you've already been using Immortal a lot or SMGs a lot, I think you'll be able to pick this thing up and immediately start enjoying it. Now I'm going to switch over to the other roll. This one actually has the headstone perk on it, which is going to create the stasis crystals on the bodies. This one also has a stability masterwork, and I'll show you more about the rolls here at the end of the video. But this one I liked a lot better, not just due to the tombstone perk, or the headstone perk creating those stasis crystals on almost every single kill and it almost felt like it had like target lock on it when i was using it because of the fact that i was able to get so many headshots even when people were in the air and floating around when i normally wouldn't be able to connect on a headshot it was... i also found this weapon to be much more aggressive had a steadier reload time and just i could do more damage overall with this thing so i think especially in a competitive match or a trials game i would go with this role especially going up against mortals but in sixes just about any role you pick up 
will be just fine. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to let you guys enjoy some more of this gameplay. And that's pretty much it for this one. So definitely go and pick one of these up, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.